Hello, my name is Roy Johnson and welcome to Acoustic RGJ. Uh, in today's lesson we're going to be having a quick look at a beginner's piece of music from the guitarist way. Some of you may be familiar with this uh, series of books. This uh, piece is actually coming from the Guitarist Way Book 2, which is the orange book. And I'm going to be looking at a piece of music called New World Theme. The reason I'm looking at this is because it's got a melody and a harmony, uh, so two guitars can play this at the same time. In the notes below, you'll find some links to my website. And on the website, you'll find three pieces of music. The first piece is the two guitars played together. The second link will be the melody and the third link will be the harmony, which means you can play along with these pieces at home if you'd like to try that. So the first thing is for me to play the piece through for you so you get an idea of what it should sound like. Before you have a go at playing this piece yourself, I thought I'd just go through some of the theoretical aspects and, and some of the notation on the on this sheet. The first thing you'll see is that we're in 2-4 time. So this means there's two crotchet beats to the bar. So we're going to count this, we're going to count this as 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Or if you're counting quavers, you could count it as 1-2-1-2-and. and two and one and two and. You'll also see there's a sharp sign in the key signature, so this means that every time you play an F, you want to play an F sharp. So F sharp is played at the second fret of the first string. At the end of the first line, you'll see there's a little kind of curved line that links two notes together. This means that you play the first note and then you let it ring on for the duration of the second note. You don't play the note twice. So in this case, we've got an A, which is played on the second fret of the third string. And when we play it, we count one, two, one, two. So it actually lasts a total of two minims or four beats. You'll also see some lettering M, P, and F. These are known as dynamics. So M, P stands for mezzo piano, which basically means to play softly. the fingerboard to get a, a slightly softer tone. That then will contrast to the F which is underneath the third line. The F stands for forte and that means to play loudly. So we can play that as so it acts as a definite contrast to the moderately loud section at the beginning. You may also want to kind of change your hand position to get a slightly different tone. Okay, and finally, um, there's two other indications here. There's one that says fine, and there's another one that says DC alfine. So fine basically means finish, and DC alfine means, DC literally means da capo, or play from the head, or play from the start. So what we do is we play through from the top line right down to the bottom line um, and then after we've played the, the third line, at the end of the third line there's a repeat sign. So when you've played that for the second time, you hit the DC I'll find. DC means go back to the start, back to the beginning, and then you play through until you get to fine or the finish. So in other words, you, so in other words from the end of that third line you go back to the top 
and you play the first line and then the second line until you get to the word fine and then you finish. So looking at the second part, which is the harmony part, this is using two note chords. We've got the same time signature and the same key signature. Now when you play these two notes together, um, what I suggest is that you rest your thumb on the bottom of the string, because what you want to avoid when you're playing two notes together is pulling away from the guitar. So you don't want to be pulling away in that direction. Instead, we want to be using the right hand and moving our fingers from the big knuckle joint. And this is where we get kind of the power um, to provide sound. Um, and you can also almost imagine that your fingers are swinging in to the palm of your hand. Um, that way the strings move um, up and down rather than, rather than in and out. And by moving them up and down, you're going to avoid fret buzz and you can play louder because of that reason. So when you so, so hold your thumb on the sixth string, that will kind of avoid pulling your hand away from your guitar. And just to start this, I would even suggest when you pluck these strings is moving your fingers right into the palm of your hand to actually touch the inside of your hand. And that way you know you're producing a good swing. You may want to start by just um, preparing your right hand by just touching those two strings with your, your index and your middle finger. So we start off by playing strings two and three and then pulling into, into, into the palm of your hand. After a while, you want to kind of not exactly touch the string, but just swing straight through the, straight through the strings, um, as if you were kind of hitting a golf ball or something, because when you hit a golf ball, you don't kind of go up to the ball, touch it, stop, and then carry on, you kind of swing straight through it. And that's the kind of motion that you want to get when you're playing these right hand chords. The only other thing to note on this second part is we've got what's known as first and second time bars. So when we play the first time through up to the repeat, you'll see there's a one in a kind of a bracket. Um, that means we've played that through for the first time. What we then do is we hit the repeat, go back to the beginning. Now we're playing it through for the second time. So you skip over the first time bar into the second time bar, which begins with the number two, and then you get to the end of that line and you go onto the second line and you play through that twice till you get to the DCL fine and you go back to the beginning. And exactly the same thing again, you play through the first time into the first time bar, hit the repeat sign, go back to the beginning of that line, and then carry on playing through, jump over the first time bar into the second time bar until you get to the word fine. And that's where you finished. The other, the only other in indications on here look like kind of hairpins or arrows that go from wide to narrow. Um, these dynamic markings mean you want to actually try and play that bar. Um, so you're going from a, um, a higher volume to a lower volume. Otherwise, you'd be you're, you're trying to get quieter. So if I was playing that from the beginning alone. towards the end of the line. So that's all to say for that piece of music really. Um, I hope you enjoyed playing along. Look out for the, uh, the accompanying tracks on my website and if you have any comments uh, please let me know. Oh and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Acoustic RGJ um, and I look forward to seeing you sometime in the future. Take care, bye for now.